Hello, my name is Nandita and I'm here to talk about my vertigo related issues and how the doctor helped me resolve it. So last year I developed strange symptoms such as imbalance while walking, wobbling sensation while standing, dizzy feeling when I would turn around. In addition to these, what was troubling me the most was I was unable to recollect and think. I was unable to focus on my work. I couldn't think hard. I was unable to see moving people or moving vehicles or objects on the TV. And I could even not scroll on my phone. I would feel dizzy when any of those movements happened. So basically any of the eye movements or head movements would make me feel dizzy. And when I would lie down, I would feel I was like literally bouncing. Although I was not, but I was having that feeling. So we started off seeing a cardiologist. We thought it was some BP fluctuations. Then we saw couple of neurologists, couple of ENTs. They did some tests and they did two MRIs and all of them were normal. The ENT then suggested that I see a neuroautologist or a vertigo specialist. Although at that point I was not very sure it was vertigo or something else. I then did end up seeing Dr. Tejaswini Patel at this clinic, the vertigo clinic, JP Nagar. And it's also called the Apigna Eye and Vertigo Hospital. So it's a clinic in which she consults so after about half an hour of listening to my symptoms, uh, she finally diagnosed it as a vestibular migraine or also called as migraine related vertigo. Although a couple of other previous doctors did diagnose it as migraine related vertigo, uh, the doctor Tejaswini Patel, she actually uh, put me on the right kind of medication and on the right path. So she said that there could be several triggers for this, like sleep deprivation or not eating properly or overstressed or excessive screen time that is watching screens for a long time, like the laptop or the TV or the phone and so on. There need not be a specific cause also, but she also said that this is not something that can be fully cured, but it can be managed by looking at your triggers. So although at that point I did not feel there was any specific trigger because I was just having this problem, this dizzy problem all the time during the entire day. So there was, it was not like there was a specific trigger for it. So, but then I later realized that I was sleep deprived for about more than two months. I did not have good quality sleep. There was uh, the COVID uh, Delta wave during that time. Uh, there were people at home who were unwell because of which I was stressed out and I was uh, not having a good quality sleep. So I felt this could probably have led to this kind of a problem. So the doctor put me on medication and initially she said, you may not see any improvement for some weeks and you should not stop medication in case you find improvement and you should also not stop it if you don't find improvement. So you should just continue to take it at the same time every day. So I just listened to it because I tried all the doctors and I had uh, exhausted all kinds of uh, visiting doctors and tests. So I said, okay, I will give this a try, a full try. So we started on medication and after a month, it started showing some improvement. And in addition to the medication, I also reduced my workload. I made my health a priority. So I reduced my workload, I reduced screen time and so on. And the medication also would put me to sleep. So initially I was not very happy about it. It put me to sleep for 10 to 11 hours in the day or in the night. So I was not really very comfortable, but the doctor said that one of the important things is that that part of the brain has to rest. And therefore that might help resolving the issue. So I decided to listen. I was uh, sleeping for like 10 to 11 hours a day for four months, for nearly four months when I was on this medication. So after a month or two, uh, the symptoms started to reduce. And uh, then she put me on what is called the vestibular rehabilitation therapy or exercises basically. It, these were actually very important. So in addition to the medication, it was important to do these exercises at the right time, at the right pace. And initially we started with simple exercises they were prescribed like two times a day and two minutes per exercise. So the exercise I was uh, asked to do was initially the eye movements and the head movements. So initially we started simple and the doctor said you to do this exactly two times a day, 
two minutes per exercise. So I would keep an alarm for two times a day and I would do it regularly. After a month, some of the symptoms reduce. Like if I would turn my head or turn my eyes or scroll on the phone, I would not feel dizzy. And basically the movements of the eyeballs and the movements of the head somehow uh, are related and then they uh, coordinate with the balance system uh, in the brain. That's what I learned during this, uh, when I was researching this topic. So all of this help the human being to uh, balance. So therefore, uh, if any of these has uh, gone bad or gone wrong, that's what probably happened in my case. So you will have to train the brain to do this and then you would uh, restore the balance. So that was, I think, the idea. So then we moved on to a little more complex exercises like moving the head, turning the head around, and also coordinating the head and the movement of the hand and the eyes and so on. And after a month of this, slowly we went to more complex exercises like standing, sitting and standing, turning around, and watching a ball which was uh, moving and things like that. And then we went to more complex exercises like um, walking or moving around in a circle. And the last one was moving in a straight line and turning the head on either sides and turning the head up and down. And the doctor also said, what were the important things and when we have to do these at, at what times you can move to complex exercises and so on. So initially I had met a couple of other doctors and they had actually started off with the, the most complex exercise that is walking in a straight line with turning your head on both sides. And this actually increased my vertigo, increased my dizziness. So I had initially lost all expectations from the exercise. So then uh, Dr. Tejaswini Patel said that you cannot start with such complex exercises. You have to start slow and then slowly ramp up the speed and ramp up the exercises. So what I did, I simply followed the doctor's advice and in about six months or so of both medication and exercises, I started feeling nearly 100% normal. That is, I could, I could watch the screens, I could scroll on the screen, I could see people moving without feeling dizzy. And she said, whatever you feel dizzy, whatever uh, triggers your dizziness, do those things more regularly. Like when I started going to work, I, I would start uh, feeling dizzy when I walked on the uh, floor, which was glaring. So there was this reflections from the floor, the light would reflect from the floor and I would start feeling dizzy. The projector, the screen from the project, uh, the light from the projector and the screen, all of them would make me feel dizzy. So therefore I started wearing anti-glare glasses and I would train myself to work on that kind of a floor in front of the projector. So after about uh, a few weeks of this training, I most of these symptoms reduced. So overall, what I would like to say is that if any of you are having symptoms like that of mine, please do consult Dr. Tejaswini Patel. So every time I've met her, I've spent at least half an hour or more explaining my symptoms and how I made it uh, how I made those exercises work, how I designed my own exercises, which would make me feel dizzy. So I would start doing those exercises, which would make me feel dizzy. And she also said that these exercises might actually make you feel more dizzy. And she said, do not stop these exercises, even if you start feeling dizzy, because your brain is just learning to retrain itself or rehabilitate itself. So I just listened to her and then I would also suggest any of you feeling or having the same symptoms to consult Dr. Tejaswini Patel. And I would also like to thank the doctor for having helped me resolve these issues in, in uh, I would say, much quicker time than other doctors did.